thing, but just a little something to help out slightly with the heat and certainly bringing us out of that really extreme heat wave that we were seeing with those highs around 96s and 97s, couple days with record highs last week. In the tropics, we've been talking about this one spot, showers and storms off the coast, of Africa, very low chance of development. And just looking at the Saharan dust, by the way, we talk about this a good bit in June and July. Models kind of uh, graphics kind of taking a minute here, but notice that it is, of course, generated around the Sahara Desert in Africa, and then it's just blown out. Very interesting uh, phenomenon that we get. So just diving into Saharan dust a little bit, it shows up everywhere across the ocean, incredibly, from New England all the way to South America. We've seen it here as well. Linked to dust storms and drought in Africa. This more severe the drought, by the way, in North and West Africa around the Sahara Desert, the stronger the Saharan dust events can be on our side of the ocean. It takes about a week to cross the Atlantic Ocean and it peaks here in the Caribbean and where we are in our part of the ocean in June and July. Interestingly, it can also transport nutrient. You could call it fertilizer, especially phosphorus to the Amazon basin. It was sort of discovered in the 1950s to 60s. That's when people, uh, chemists really, were looking for it, uh, looking for other things and kind of noticed in the air and their samples, they were getting the Saharan dust, interestingly. But Darwin was talking about it way back in 1833. He noted that there was the Saharan dust in the air that he saw. And remember last year, it was so thick, especially around Puerto Rico and some Caribbean islands. It was showing up on cars. So sometimes it can be transported from the mid-levels of the atmosphere all the way to the surface. So just a little something about the Saharan dust. And of course, the big thing for us, it cuts down on the formation of hurricanes with the dry, dusty air. Lower rain chances, but still hot and a little less humid the next couple of days. All right, not too bad. Thanks so much, Alexandra. A pole vaulter from Lafayette has won gold in Tokyo. Former LSU Tiger Mondo Duplantis launched